Hello everybody, Drift here from Driftwood Gaming. This is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Atman X. I hope I'm saying your name right, dude. Um, he wants to know if there's a way to make uh, projectiles in the, the MV engine, possibly using Ganfly plugins. Uh, projectiles? Yeah, that's no problem. You can use pictures and move pictures for that. Uh, how you handle collision will be the problem. But I'll show you uh, how to do projectiles. Um, pretty easy. You'll need one plugin for this. You're going to need Yanfly's button common events. So I'll show you that one real quick. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get Yanfly's button common events. One of my favorite plugins ever. Uh, so it's YEP underscore button common events. What you're going to do is you're going to make a common event and I'll show you that. And then you're going to pick whatever key you want to... Like say we're going to make a fireball. We're going to throw a fireball across the, the screen. Uh, what button do you want the player to have to press on the keyboard for that fireball to start? So I've selected key number one so you can have multiple pictures and multiple uh, uh, Skills like for lightning bolt would be two and maybe even make a, a menu in game to customize so the player can pick But that's another thing. So I've just selected key number one and I'm calling common event number 100 So let's take a look at common event number 100 Inside of common event number 100, I'm just calling it projectile, doesn't need any trigger because we're calling it with a button press, right? So at the beginning, we're going to show an animation. You don't have to do this. Uh, before I actually go through the event, let me just show you what it looks like so you know if you want to actually do this or not. So the player walks around, and uh, if I press the 1, it shows the animation, and then it throws a fireball. So if I'm facing different directions, it's going to throw the fireball in different directions. I don't have uh, diagonal on right now, so it's just up, down, left, right to make this simple. But you can do that as many times as you want. You could speed up the fireball, uh, how fast it goes from top to bottom. You can get rid of the animation. You can change the animation. You can change what picture is being uh, thrown across the stage. You can really do all kinds of stuff. But like I said before, collision is the hard part. How do you handle the collision detection using this method? So throw in a projectile for you know cutscenes or whatever, or even like uh, if you need to have it a button press for a certain event. I'm sure you can figure out a way to use this. But basically, we're going to have four conditional statements. Uh, after the animation, we're going to right click insert new conditional statement and it's uh, a conditional branch and we're going to go to tab 3 and we're going to select the character the player is facing down and we're going to create an else branch. So if the character, uh, the player is facing down, it's going to do this. We're going to control two new variables. So we're going to find a free slot, you know, we've got projectile x here, you call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm using 175. And what we're going to do is set that to the game data. And we're going to go to the game data here, go to character, select the player, select screen X for this first one. And we're going to set it to that. Uh, underneath that, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do this for uh, another variable, create a separate variable, call this one whatever Y. We're going to set it to the game data screen Y of the player. Once you've done that, we're going to show a picture. And I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can get the picture that I'm using for this. I made it very quickly and easily using Ganfly's icon generator. You can do the same to make even better pictures. But if you just want to download it, right click, save uh, image as, you can do that by just clicking the link below. So we've got a fireball image. Uh, we're selecting picture number one here. You can, it doesn't really matter, but you only have up to 100. Keep that in mind. So we have uh, the fireball picture that we're going to put. When you get this file, put it in your IMG slash uh, pictures folder, and it'll show up right here. So you select that picture, and then we're going to designate where it, it's being drawn to with the two variables we set. So the projectile X and the projectile Y. We're also going to want to center the origin. So we'll click right here and center that origin. That's it for the first part. You can even use blend modes. It'll just change the way it looks. It's kind of cool, actually. So the, the next thing you're going to do is move the picture. So this will be like a tweening effect. It'll go from one thing to another, uh, but basically just moves it. It doesn't really animate it. So what we're going to do here is this is, this is where you're going to have to take uh, the resolution of your game into consideration. So to find out the resolution of your game, 
you, you can just open the core engine here if you're using it and you can see screen width and screen height. Screen height. So these is, uh, I recommend using this plugin as well. You're going to need it if you're using Yanfly's button common events anyway. So for the core engine, you're going to see your screen width and your screen height. So you're going to keep these numbers into consideration. So the width is from the left to the right and the height is from the top to the bottom. And how it draws is the very top left is a zero and all the way at the bottom is 1280 by 720. So if we wanted to draw in the middle of the screen all the way at the bottom, then we would put width would be cut in half, right? Because we want to go halfway across and height would be all the way down. So if we wanted to draw the fire, move the fireball to the very bottom, we would go cut this number in half. That's 640 uh, and then 720. So we're going to move it to 640, 720. It'll be right here. And we're going to do that same thing for each direction we're facing. Let's go back to that common event. So that's what we're doing. We're moving that to 640 by 720. We're centering the origin. We're setting how long we want uh, the animation to play. So if you wanted to go super fast, you could drop this down to 15 frames, which is like a quarter of a second. Uh, right now, it's, it's set to display the animation from its creation to its deletion in, th in half of a second. If you wanted to go slower, you could put this a higher number. Uh, you have to select wait for completion in order for it to not just skip right over it because it'll just display it and delete it before you even see it and that's what's happening. You can even scale it and all this other stuff is up to you to manipulate. Then at, make sure you erase your picture. So after that, you just erase whatever picture you draw and that's right in the, the menu. Uh, I think it's tab two at the bottom picture. So you've got show picture, move picture, uh, erase picture. You can even set a rotate in there and tent and really customize it. This is just a basic one. Inside the first else condition, we're gonna do the, the, uh, the condition if the player is facing left. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna recontrol these two variables to the X and Y. But now what we're gonna do when we're facing left is we're gonna subtract 16 from the Y. If you're drawing a large picture, the picture that, I'm, uh, that I put for you to download, the fireball.png is 64 by 64. If you have a larger picture, then you wanna subtract more so that it looks more centered. Of course, you can change this number up and down so that it looks, uh, looks better for you. Try, uh, try a few different numbers and see what looks best for you. Do the same thing here. We're going to show picture uh, using these two X and Y uh, uh, variables we set. This time when we move the picture, we're going to be facing left. We want it to go all the way to the left. So the X is going to be zero. The Y is going to be half of 720. So zero and 360. Everything else is the same. Inside that uh, next else handler, when the player is facing right, we're going to do the same thing. That is when they're play, uh, facing left. So you can just basically copy paste that right here, even the, the fireball show, uh, show picture. The move picture will be the only thing that's really different. See, now we're moving the picture to 1280, which is all the way across, to 360, which is in the middle half of 720. So everything else is the same. We're going to uh, go down right here. We can basically copy paste the down one right here. This time, you know, with up and down, we don't need to adjust the Ys. It would depend on your picture, of course. Um, then we're going to change the move picture. So this time, it's doing the X at 640 and the Y at 0. So it's going halfway across the screen, but it's drawing at the very top. So from the center going up, if the player is facing up. Everything else is the same. After that, you're pretty much done. And uh, you can show your animations and create projectiles. And everything is customizable but like I said um, how you handle collisions like say I wanted to burn this orc that's a whole other thing you might have to make an evented uh, something that's evented so if you figure that out let me know if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like favorite share subscribe I really appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching if you have any more special requests put them in the comments below we'll see you guys in the next tutorial